Hi, this is a video covering infinite series, the root test. So here's the root test. It says that a series converges absolutely when the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of the series is less than 1. The series diverges when the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of your absolute value of your series formula is greater than 1 or has an infinite value. The root test is inconclusive when the limit is actually equal to 1. So where the root test comes in handy is anytime your formula for your series that gives you your terms has n in the exponent. That's when the root test is useful most of the time. So in our first example, we'll determine whether the series converges or diverges to give me the series n equals 1 to infinity of e to the 2n over n to the n power. <clears throat> Notice that the variable n is in the exponents of both the base e and the base n. So you have n in the power. So first we're going to calculate the nth root of the square root of the absolute value of our series formula a sub n. <clears throat> So, this gives me the nth root of the absolute value of e to the 2n over <clears throat> n to the n power. So you'll notice that e to the 2n and n to the n power are always going to be positive quantities, so there's no need to use absolute value anymore. <clears throat> you'll also notice that taking the nth root of something is like raising it to the 1 over n power. Finally, if you distribute the 1 over n and multiply it by the 2n, if you take the 1 over n and distribute it and multiply it by the exponent n, you get e to the 2n over n over n to the n over n power. So perhaps where the nice part of this comes into play is when you do finally simplify and you get e squared over n. <coughs> so that's one part of the root test. That's what we'll be taking the limit of as n goes to infinity. So take the result we just obtained, that e squared over n, and we are actually going to go in and calculate the limit as n goes to infinity. Alright, so the limit as n goes to the infinity of e squared over n, well you're taking e squared, that's a numeric value, that's a non-zero number, and you're dividing it by infinity. So remember our example we use all the time, you just take a few dollars and divide it amongst infinitely many people, that's practically nothing for everybody. So you get zero, and that is less than one. <clears throat> By the root test, the series converges absolutely. One more example. They give me the series n equals 1 to infinity of n minus 2 over 5n plus 1, and all of this is raised to the n power. So you see that power of n there. That's a good indication that perhaps the root test would work for us. So first, let's calculate the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n, our formula for our series here. <coughs> so you have the nth root of the absolute value of our series formula a sub n, and notice that when you take the nth root of something raised to the n power, so nth root of something raised to the n power, the n power and the nth root cancel each other out. So you're left strictly with the absolute value of n minus 2 over 5n plus 1. We have to leave the absolute value because, for instance, when n is 1, because n can be anything from 1 to infinity, when n is 1, you get a negative value for this fraction here. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So keep the absolute value. That's about as much as we can simplify for now. So now we'll actually calculate the limit as n goes to infinity of our quantity we just found. So that's the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of n minus 2 over 5n plus 1. So you consider the most dominating or highest power term on the top, which is n, and the most dominating or highest power term on the bottom, which is 5n. When you simplify, simplify finally, you get the limit as n goes to infinity of one-fifth, which is just one-fifth. It's less than one. So by the root test, the series converges. Absolutely. 
So that's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the root test.